What's going on, y'all? My name, uh, Fairplay, aka Mike Williams, aka Franchise, named by Coach Bailey. And what I'm actually sitting here thinking about right now is the UCF versus Duke game, and that's a game that UCF should have won. And as I'm thinking about it, I think about Bailey. And the reason I think about Bailey, I'm just like, man, if Bailey would have been coaching UCF, they would have won. And this is two reasons why they would have won. Um, so we would have played a 2-3, a 2-3 zone like they did. But what they didn't do was the weak side man should have always been shadowing Zion and denying him, which would have made it harder for him to get the ball. One thing Bailey always taught us is once the ball get into the middle, you know, the play dead because now he can get the high low or he can hit it off to either of the wing. Now, if we go even further than that, the next thing we would do is, let's just say I'm 6'2 and I weigh 200 pounds. At the time I was playing, I was probably weighing like 185. Um, but what he would have told me is he would have said, Williams, I know he outsized and I know he's stronger than you, but he ain't got more hard than you. He think he's better than you, but you're gonna go out here tonight and show him that you're better than him. So one, he would have gave me the confidence to know that I can do what the job takes. And then the next thing he would have told me was, I don't care if Zion go to the bathroom and take a crap, you hand him the toilet paper. And basically what that mean is, you don't give him nothing tonight. And when he said they don't give him nothing, he made him rebounds. So every time Zion wouldn't have went up, I probably would have only had two rebounds. But, and that's because my job wouldn't have been to go get the rebound. My job would have been to box Zion out and let the rebound fall right in front of me. And one of my teammates would rush to go get it, like a Derek or a Jamel or even a Mike Jack to crash the board. Uh, and that even put me in the mind of when we played Joliet because I was outside. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm 6'2". So he, I was playing power forward for him for a little while. And what he told me to do that game was Williams. I don't care about how many box out. I don't care about how many rebounds you get this game. I'm worried about the box outs because if we stop him from getting on the boards, we can win this game. And a player like Zion, who's a great rebounder and a great finisher on the off, off the offensive rebounder, you got to stop him from getting the board. So, although if you notice, his player had a great game scoring, but he didn't. He and he had an okay game rebounding. What he didn't do was stop Zion offensive rebounds, and what that essentially led to was his center fouling out at the end of the game which essentially cost him the game because he wasn't in the game to get that offensive rebound that Barry got. So, long story less long, if Bailey was coaching them, even if he was an assistant coach or just a defensive coordinator, they would have got out of there with a win and they would have been heading to the Sweet 16. And that's no knock against the coach that's over there now. Well, no, nah, I'm lying. That kind of is a knock to him because it was a simple fix. When you get a star player like Zion, you make everybody else beat you. And this, this is just stuff that when I got to the college level and played for maybe a year and a half, this is the beginning stuff that I basically learned from Bailey. You know, he, the, he preached defense. And another reason UCF uh, lost the game, they weren't in shape. And that's something you, that's something you noticed towards the fourth quarter. And that's and, and even when we let's get into one more thing before I close out this video. That tip drill, he should have made that at the end of the game. Bailey used to have us throw one ball off one backboard, throw one ball off the other backboard, five players on each end, and you run full court and tap that basketball in and tap it off the backboard. And what that do, not only do that help you work on your tips. When you get in scenarios where you flying in real fast from high court, half court, you tired, but it also help the communication. I'm at half court, tap it hard. I'm right behind you, don't tap it too hard. That helps you get your camaraderie together. So although UCF had a great season, I think their season came down to coaching 
and communication and not having a great execution for Zion. I think they came in with a lot of confidence and said, yeah, he good, they good, but we better. And so I think they actually stuck to their original game plan of how they played everybody else. And whenever you plan a star player, you always have to plan for that star player and let everybody else beat you. But you know, this is just something I wanted to take the time out to do. Just randomly popped across my head. Peace out.